In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of a meta prompt and how it can help you personally, but also others in your team to create quality prompts that get a better response and output from the AI tools that you're using. Um, so what is a meta prompt? Well, let's start off by explaining what a prompt is. A, a prompt, as you as you know, it's like what you put into this uh, this field. How can Claude help you today? What is it that you need? And there's a whole uh, career that has grown up about prompt engineering or prompt writing uh, to get the best response out. Now, the challenge is that even if uh, yourself or your teams are familiar with how to write great prompts, uh, often you don't have the time or um, uh, you don't have the, the capacity to, to write um, out a very detailed prompt that provides all of the details that you need. So a meta prompt is going to help you to do that. Um, so what is meta? Well, uh, meta is a, a term which means something that's inside something else. So a good example of that would be if there was a film which was about making a film, then that would be quite meta. Um, a book about writing a book would be very meta. And in this example, we've got a prompt that is about writing other prompts. And so that's why we call it a meta prompt. Now. Before I come into this prompt actually here, I'm going to go across to the Google Doc where I've written this meta prompt. Um, and I'll walk you through it quickly. It's a prompt within a prompt. Um, so as I do with all of my uh, prompts, uh, it's uh, segregated out by uh, these uh, hashtags to mark up exactly how uh, the prompt should think about or the AI should think about what is uh, important and a subheading and a sub subheading and, and so on. Um, so the objective, you are an AI prompt writer supporting the human user to write a prompt. Uh, by using it, the user is going to get a quicker output and a better outcome than uh, the, when they use the prompts that you create. And you should engage the user in a human-like conversation, asking a question at a time rather than sending a long list of questions. So we've set the scene, and now it's about getting the context from the user so that this prompt can build the prompt. So what are the types of things that we want this meta prompt to ask? Well, ask the user to clearly define the objective of the prompt. Um, now let's start asking them a bit more detail. Can you explain the scenario? Do you have a draft of the prompt that you want to use? Do you know what kind of output that you want? Um, should this prompt access any external websites or, or systems? Uh, should the user be uploading any information as part of this prompt? Um, then a key part of um, any good prompt is to provide examples of what good looks like or what bad looks like. So can uh, this user share two or three examples of what a good output would be, uh, maybe two or three examples of what a bad output would be, and that will help uh, the system to provide a better output. Um, some exceptions. So if the prompt isn't finding the right information perhaps that it needs, what should it do in that situation? So are there specific situations that you're aware of that, uh, that might uh, have a poor result? And in that situation, what should the AI model do? What type of output do you want from this prompt? Is it simply boom, in goes one long prompt and out comes one big answer? Or is it a discussion that you want this prompt to have, like a workshop type environment? What kind of tone should it use? Is it friendly or professional and so on? And then having gathered all of that context, then we want this meta prompt to create the prompt. So now that you've gathered all the information, create the prompt and it should include these sections. Now I want the prompt to include the objective, the context, the task. I want it to include some examples. I want it to include some exceptions and the output formats. I then want you to review the prompt um, so that you are happy that it answers the question. I'd then like you to create an explanation for the user on how to use this prompt. You know, what should I do? Do I copy it over into a new project? How, how do I use it? And then to share the explanation and the prompt as an output for the user. Now, this is where the meta bit comes in. We've got a prompt within a prompt. And so what should be part of a prompt? Well, we should have some examples in a prompt. So we have examples of the type of prompt that we would like to have. Are you keeping up? Um, so in this section, there are a few prompts to use as an example. And then this is the type of prompt that I want to see come out of the system. 
So that is our meta prompt. And hopefully uh, you've uh, managed that hasn't uh, fried your brain too much. All I've done then in this meta prompt is to upload all of that as custom instructions into my Claude project. So this is everything that was in that Google Doc. And so now it's as simple as me saying, can you help me create a prompt, please? Because I'm nice. Certainly, I'd be happy to help you create a prompt. What type of prompt are you looking to create? And this is where we get into that discussion and it's gonna follow those instructions. Um, so as an example, I would like a prompt that helps me merge two large CSVs and provide summary output and charts to display the results. Okay, now I'm not gonna go um, uh, through this entire process, but you can see here, it's starting to ask, um, can you give me a, um, a bit more context? What is the scenario um, that you're, you're going through? And it will follow through all of those questions. Now, actually, before I did this, I've actually gone through that entire conversation and uh, the system has created a prompt for me. So the objective of this prompt is to merge two large CSV files containing transaction data, analyze the combined data, and produce a summary report. The context, the user is going to upload two CSV files, and so on and so on. The task, request the user uploads the two CSV files, ask if there's anything unusual about the files. And this is all the information that has been gathered uh, by, um, uh, the, by the meta prompt that has now created this prompt. And so once I've added that entire prompt in, understood, I'll guide you through the process of merging and analyzing your CSV files to produce a summary report for senior management. Let's begin. Please upload the first CSV file containing transaction data. Now please upload the second CSV file. Now, is there anything unusual about these files? This is all the information that I provided in the meta prompt. Now you can imagine, you can create prompts for financial analysis, for new job descriptions, for preparing for a one-to-one, -one, for creating an agenda for a customer meeting. The meta prompt is the guide for all of your teams to create functional prompts that are gonna give great responses. So I hope that was helpful. I will include uh, a link to that meta prompt just to give you some examples in uh, the YouTube video uh, link. And I hope you find that helpful for enabling all of your users, your teams to create great prompts on their own.